Hey, young foreigners. Today, I decided to do something new. Today, I decided... Oh, uh, I'm trying to fix it. Today, I decided to show y'all how it is on Uber and how much I make on there part-time, honestly. It's a part-time gig I do. I make pretty good money. I ain't mad at it. I'm going to show you this new car I got because of it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man. It's like like what we all say. It's all about the different streams that you make. Please, please don't think that if you want to live a life where you can just go enjoy yourself whenever you want to, that you're going to get it all from one stream. It might happen. It's possible. I'm not saying it's not possible, but I'm saying it's rare as hell. Take it from someone who knows people in the top 1%. Trust me, they all have more than one stream of income. So I'm going to just show you the second one that I chose because, you know, it makes pretty good money. It's a trend. You know what I mean? It's all about trend stacking now, team. You got to realize that when you stack them up, that's when you make stuff happen. So I'm going to take y'all with me for a little gig. Usually on my days off, I get to enjoy myself, so I be happy. I haven't done overtime at my main job in a year plus, but my income doubled. But you know what I'm saying? It, it's not always about getting it at one spot. You got to spread it out. So just in case one of your incomes drop, I'm not going to cry. You know what I mean? I'm not going to cry if I lose my job at Hopkins. I might be sad, but I'm not going to cry because I got other means. I got other ways to make income. So today, I'm about to give you a sneak peek at one of the income streams I have that makes me very profitable. And I bought a new car, 2018. I'm going to show it to y'all later when I hop out of it. But you know what I'm saying? Nice little car I got. Yeah. It's cool. You want to see what's up. I'm going to get back at it. So, I'm back. Those were somewhat the pros, honestly. I'm not going to lie to you. We do get some good money now. I'm about to show you my weekly pay stubs off of Uber Eats, man. And like I said, I do it part-time. So don't be trying to count my money like, yeah, I make I make good money for my age. You know what I mean? I'm 22 years old, young, grinding, successful young man who is out here focused. That's what I meant. Young, focused, grinding, successful young man because I'm not going to not fight for what I want. And I definitely am going to buy it if I want it just because, you know. I work too hard not to get stuff I deserve, especially when I'm putting money into it. So, yeah, team, I just want you to know that the pros are 2019 is a super trend. So automatically you're going to make some good money. I hear people say that here's the difference. Here's a sneak tip. Here's the difference between Uber Eats and normal Uber. They're not going to tip you on normal, normal Uber like that unless you do something spontaneously like required like they hit you out the blue and said i need you to do this and you're just like okay i'll do it that's the only way you'll get an extremely nice tip but on uber eats you get tips just because you're delivering food you have to get out your car and actually do stuff for the patient i mean for another patient <laughs> i'm thinking of my main job for the customer but pretty much I, I'll show you it. I think it even says it on my pay stub. One week, I made like $80 off straight tip money. Like, that's a, I, I wouldn't mind holding that for a nice little day. $80 straight tips. That's cool. But you got to get out. You got to work for your money, man. I've done 3,000 rides in a year off Uber Eats. I made some good money, man. That's the only reason I'm able to sport this new car and wear Louis Vuitton shades for fun. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, stay focused out there, people. Remember, you do and get what you deserve. So at the end of the day, I didn't just get this car. You don't know how many losses I took to even deserve this car. But you know what I mean? 22 years old, like I said, in the 18, man. And I'm a guy. So you already know they trying to tax me on insurance. They trying to tax me on the payment. But Lord knows in a week, I can make my whole payment for my car and my insurance and all that in a week, one week out the month. And you remember, they, they pay, you pay every month now. So 
You just gotta be smart. Soon I'm gonna be taking a trip to the Dominican Republic. Shouldn't even have told y'all that. Got a new car and took a trip, man. Getting money. But look, I want y'all to stay focused. Yeah, it's, it's a good life out here. You just gotta, you just gotta know what you want to do. At the end of the day, this is a stream for me to stack money up, do what I need to do. This is gonna help me hit my six figure mark this year. At the end of this year, I'll be making six figures. 22, 23 year old young man making six figures off his own nitty gritty grind. And I just want y'all to remember that it's very possible for you to make excellent money at a young age with in different types of ways. So I just wanna motivate y'all, re remind y'all that you're not alone. There's some good money out here to be made. Yes. We are out here. Cons are, you're going to put miles on your car. I don't, I don't know how people expect to make money on Uber Eats when you got to drive for deliveries. Like, yes, you put miles on your car to make money, folks. Like, are you so in love? Like, here, here's a tip. When, you're, when you do business, I mean, yes, you should love what you do and all that other stuff. But remember, this is business. Don't take it personal at all. These are just money exchanges. You do stuff for money, you get money in return. You know what I mean? So I just want you to remember, I bought this car so I could fuel my lifestyle. Whatever that is. Maybe doing car reviews, just having a nice car. Like the last car I had was a 09. I had a 09. I jumped up eight years damn near into the newest car on the lot. You know what I'm saying? But that was all of my dedication and my hard work for those two years. I own, I still have two cars right now, but I own, I own two cars. I own an 09 Altima and an 08 Mazda. And while I was riding around in that 09 Altima, did it for two years, put 60K miles on my car, but I was just riding around getting this money and I ain't had nothing to complain about. Definitely put a nice down payment on my car. Hey, get this money champ. We out here. I got another video for y'all soon. Just comment stuff that you think I should do entertainment wise, all that. Just trying to get my feet wet. I've been saying I was going to get my feet wet, but I just been dabbling in business. But I definitely am a character, got good energy. I, do, I am a people person when I feel like it. It's all about mastering what you want to master. So hit me up. And I put my link, I put my link in the bottom so you could really click on it. Like the only thing I ask out of giving you this information and letting you see a part of my life is that you are willing to, if you want to start Uber Eats, click my link in the description and use my referral code. I'm not going to tell you how I make thousands of dollars on Uber Eats and, you know, you know, I can, of course, I'm giving it out to you for free, but it's like I pour onto you, so pour onto me. Just if I, you feel like my information was good and I showed you some nice, cool tricks of the trade, hey, I return return a favor by getting some money with me. You know what I mean? We're gonna both make some good money. Like, yeah, help me out because I helped you out. It's all, it's all teamwork out here today, guys. So you can't, you can't rule the world by yourself. Yep, you need a team. You got to delegate some work. I'm trying to delegate my lifestyle. I'm trying to delegate how my finances work. So, you know, just help me out and i help you out. God bless you all. And we're going to head to the top. Yeah, baby. All right. This is what it looks like. Um, I got two orders. So, I'm happy. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to show you every little detail that's on the app so you get comfortable. And, you know, you, you could say it's not ready whenever you get there. And then you cannot even pick up the order if you get there. If they're taking too long, here are some of the options that they give you if the place is being, you know, they're too busy their self, you know what I mean? Sometimes it's not even the fact that they don't want to give you the food. They're just busy. So here's some options so that you don't have to worry about situations like that. 
too far away, unable to find a pickup, all that good stuff. It's excessive wait time, told you. Get them out of there. But I got my food, so I'm gone. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we click both of them. I'm about to swipe and show you what's good. Hmm. All right. So here is what the map looks like once we start. Boom. So there's one ride and you can see the little arrow. It takes me to the other ride, too. I got to go a little further down and stuff. Yep, not too bad, but God, you'll see what I made off the ride. It's going to be cool. So first one, I had to stop and go into the building, which wasn't too bad. Second one, same. Uh, 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 let me see. Can I show you exactly how much I made? Stop recording. I wish I could show you, but on the top, I promise it said I made seventeen dollars off doing those two rides. If someone could show me in the comments how to edit a little better, I would definitely appreciate it. Cause I'm using iMovie on my phone. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm back, team. So, bam! The two orders that I was talking about sitting here, nice, pretty. I got that other food in the back, but yeah, I got my own food earlier. I got Chick-fil-A. I know y'all saw it in the other clip. I did not want their food. They just happened to give it to me. So God bless their soul. And I do good, positive things in the community. So this is it coming back to me. So that's just how I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, what I really wanted to say was comment down below if you want me to do a car review. I got a new new car. I'm going to hop out and actually show you a tad bit. Not going to say too much about the features and stuff, but I got this car because I do Uber and stuff. And just because any business I need to do, I need to have a nice little car. So, bam, I'm back. And there it is. I don't know if you would really see it, though. da 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 Comment down below if I should do a car review. I am going to get a tenant though. But let me know if I should do a car review because I am going to do it anyway. So, you know, a couple comments in the in the background saying you should. It's a little motivation I need to actually put it out there. But, yeah, I'm on road now, folks. You will see how it looks after I finish this ride. This is a quick ride. It's not too fast, not too far, nothing like that. So... It's not going to be too bad, so we're going to get straight to it. Peace.